that's fine. Ray. Uh, one more of these should do it. And cold blood. And Dora. Sure. Sneak attack. Single target. Um, camouflage, too. Cool. The party recuperated from everything that had just happened. Tentatively, they approached her corpse. Before they could get too close, Joel's body vanished as if melting away into the ground. Well, where did she go? What just happened? I'm not sure. I've never seen a demon disappear as that, up such, such as that upon death. But I admit that I've never seen a demon such as her before, either. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of Jewel. You've never met a succubus? No, not in the literal sense, anyway. So she's not dead? This couldn't get any better. Really? We don't know that for sure. The wizard just said that maybe her type just goes out that way. Pretty fancy. Lauren put her sword away with a loud clatter, getting everyone's attention. What matters is that she is no longer terrorizing the forest or the Dark Elves. Everyone thought about Tobar in the village, wondering if they had recovered now that Jewel was gone. To the village! Mesfit was the first to run from the whole forest. Lauren has returned. Have you done it? Is the demon dead? Before they could answer, Ashran's soldiers were startled by movement among the Dark Elves. The Dark Elves started rising from off the ground and snapping out of the trances. They shook their heads if they had just woken from a groggy night of drinking, but were clearly back to their own minds again. Even Tobar, Mesfit was elated to see his father well. Ashran offered the Elder a hand up. After blinking a few times, he took him up on the offer. Our blood betrays us all. I have no words to describe how sorry I am. He swallowed and faced Ashtran. My friend, do not waste words with an apology. We were already forgiven. Now that this dreadful demon is slain, we can now move forwards to ridding the world of the rest of them. One still stands among us. Aha. Back off, Ray. Keep your pretty yellow locks away from his pretty perfectly blue abs. Ray threw a cold look at Mesfit, standing silently by his father. He did not react to the accusation, as if he agreed. Lauren eyed the younger Dark Elf. He had just tried to murder them. Under an, the influence, and not for the first time. Your demon pact has taken control of you. I wonder if there is any of yourself still in that shell. Lauren? This is where I'm gonna pipe up. Tell them. Tell them you are still my son. Mesfit raised his chin up, but his eyes were rough with grief. Tell them! But he continued to say nothing. Mesfit then crouched down and held his head low. It was not a bow to plead for his life. He was making it easier for Lauren to kill him. Ah, no. No, stand up, please, tell them! Ashan grabbed Tobar's shoulder tightly, but it was clear there would be no consolation strong enough for him, to, to, for him after this. Lauren was sympathetic, but her logic told her that he was a danger and a demon. He was asking her to be put out of that misery. She stepped up to him. Saren instinctively staggered forward. Could he let his mistress take Tobar's son's life? Uh, could he let the mistress take Tobar's son's life? No! I want those abs with me. Whoa, hold up. He must be dealt with. Through death only? What other options do we have? Uh, and for the first time, I'm gonna be forceful. I'm not, this is not a joking matter. And I'm not playing friendly with, with her. I am for, for the very first time. Which shows how important this is. When I could have been friend or joking, I'm actually gonna be forceful for once. We'll double his guard and monitor him, monitor him at all times. That was already done, if you'll recall. He broke free easily, injuring many guards. Then they weren't very good guards. We are the most superior warriors. We will be able to contain him. 
Mesut will remain under our charge. We will keep him safe from others and himself. A hint of a smile graced Tobar. Thank you. Thank you for giving him this chance. Good still exists in the world, even when all is tainted by evil. The person who gives us that hope is more valuable than any resource. Princess Lauren, you will make a fine leader. I have kept my word in dispatching the demon. The forest elders could not deny me my claims now. I think you are correct. The deed will sit well with them. I will personally confer with them, in your favor. As will I. Good. Both Jewel and Cruel are, were now dealt with. Lauren needed to return to the Citadel to complete her takeover. Yeah, but first I have to make sure that our boy is okay. You attacked us. Mesfit inhaled deeply. I did. This is the part where you apologize. I'm sorry. Mesfit blinked a few times, then looked away. I'm sorry. Does she really have that much power over you? You are there. You have experienced her thrall. Now imagine that it is coming from inside of you, constantly, for all time. Saren was silent as he considered it. Okay, so that sounds pretty awful. For all time? Yeesh. You understand. I'm beginning to, but that doesn't mean I will accept your violence. However, if you need me for anything, you may speak with me. Need you? For what? A good hit of wine? A back rub? I'm open to ideas. I'm sure you've got plenty of ideas, Saren. Mesut is baffled, but he didn't refuse. Ah, 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 the door is still open. The door is still open. Come back here. Mesfit looked away. Oh, fine. Not to be picky, but shouldn't you be doing something else to meditate? I'm not in the mood. Well, whatever. I was, I'm surprised Ray has nothing to say. Thank you for Mesfit. Isn't it weird how one day you're trying to kill him and the next you're thanking me for saving his life? You saw the good in him. You saw the real elf underneath. That tells me a lot about you. Something good? Something very good. Thank you again. I am shamed because of Jewel. I could not shake her power from my mind, but my daughter could. Am I too old already? Too old? I barely understand how Lauren is your daughter. You look the same age to me. Karen perked up somewhat, but chose not to acknowledge the flattery, lest it went over her head, went to her head. We should break camp soon, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 Lauren. The demon cast a charm on me. Jewel? Yes, I know. She charmed almost everyone. Amukiki paused. Did she hurt you? Oh, he, he's, he cares about us. If by hurt you mean seduce, then yes, she deduced, she deduced the pants off of me. The gladiator blinked. You welcome her magic? I suppose not, but eh, it was nice while it lasted. She is a demon, do not forget that. Yes, I know, Mukiki. Nothing's new with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi again. Hi. Um, let's go back to the Citadel. Lauren and Queen Karen marched through the Citadel's gates, prepared to announce that they had completed the two tasks. However, Breza interrupted their arrival. Majesties, do not tread further. Why not? Breza looked over her shoulder. Amazons laid on furs outside of the plaza, coughing and groaning as healers tended to them. What happened here? It is a plague, your highness. I beg you, do not enter the citadel or you will fall ill as well. How did this happen? The Amazons have always been stronger than common sickness. Saren closed his eyes, recalling his previous mistress. She had fallen sick so quickly, and the healers were so unprepared that she succumbed to it. If I may, while I was working in the clinic, there was little treatment for maladies, and I have seen Amazons struggle with their illnesses without ever consulting a healer. Amazons do not have maladies. Well, watch your tongue there, princess, because what do you call this? You can see this with your very own eyes. They do, but you are too stubborn to admit it. Thank you, Saren. Lauren hushed and clenched her teeth. Thank you, Saren. But to this scale? Magic must be to blame. Can you be so sure? That was my thought as well, just before the plague started. My scouts reported some suspicious women to me. 
No one knew who they were, or even recognized them. Foreign Amazons? I do not know, but they cannot be found again. They have completely disappeared, and now we are plague-ridden. Those were not Amazons. They had to be illusions. Majesty? Like the illusions that started the war? Yes. We can ask Mirth and Apollomesho to be sure. So, the, dust, the same dark forces are now targeting the Citadel. Such filth. Shall I consult with your magic experts with all I know? Yes, speak with the druid and the archwizard. Breza saluted and left. Lauren watched the six Amaz the sick Amazons from a distance. She was not used to seeing her sister so weak. She could not even enter her own home. Lauren clenched her fists, swearing vengeance. After deliberation, Apollo Meshu and Mirth approached Lauren. We have learned what we he could from your scout commander. Indeed, illusion magic may be at, at play to infiltrate the citadel. But what's more, the sickness itself runs deeper than any healing magic. It's not waging war on their bodies, but on their souls. What? What does that mean? This plague is the work of dark magic, and that is outside of our realm of knowledge. Lucky for you, I'm here. Chambara to the rescue. Lauren spun around to see Chambara making her way into the conversation. No one thought to ask me about dark magic? Anybody? We were about to? Oh, I'm sure. I will ask. Chambara, can you help my people? I love how Lauren doesn't care. She's like, whatever. Good magic, white magic, black magic, dark magic, whatever. As long as she's very task oriented. I might. I'm pretty good at making potions that cure this sort of stuff, but my potion book is back at my house. In the swamps? Then that is our next destination. Really? It was that simple? Only your entire race needed to contract an evil disease to get you to take me back home? Why didn't I try that sooner? Mirth sighed and Apollomesha grumbled under his breath. New quest. Cure the plague. Find a way to cure the plague that has spread in the Amazon Citadel. Chambara's hut. They entered the swamps and found Chambara's house exactly the way they had left it. Home, sweet, swampy home. She entered inside the decrepit hovel, and the rest followed her inside. The interior was just as well kept. Now, where is that silly potions book? Shambara swiftly crossed the room and scanned her bookshelf. She pulled out a manuscript found in black leather and heaved it to a nearby table. She opened it and flipped through several pages. What kind of plague is it? Locusts? Midnight transformations? It is an illness. My warriors have lost their strength completely. Boring. Just a regular plague, then. Here, found something that may help. A potion. Potion? You've used this lie on us already. No, this is really a potion this time. Or would you rather take your chances in not believing me? Lauren thought about it for a moment and then shook her head. She had no choice but to trust Shambara. Okay, here's the recipe. You'll have to, I'll have to brew it for you because you're all incompetent, but that's the extent of my graciousness. Thank you. You have to get all the ingredients. I'm not breaking my back for this. I'll be sitting right there, say, let's say, right here, let's say, guarding the potion, shall we? No, you'll come with us too. <sighs> it's not that simple. She scanned the page in the book. You need to decipher the recipe first. Decipher? It's written in a different language? No, it's written like a riddle. Standard dark magic double tongue to deceive you. It's written like this so that uptight losers like you couldn't understand it. I love, I love Chambara. So you wouldn't persecute those who wrote it. What does it say? Read it to us. Okay, it says here, the potion requires three essences. Master, servant, and friend. Master, servant, and friend. First ingredient, take from the master. Trapped in the underrealm, release him. Second ingredient, take from the servant. Wandering champion, flesh stained with the plains. Third ingredient, take from the friend. Loyal to the end, waiting for the master's return. And that's it. But what are we supposed to get exactly? Let me see that book. I will reveal its secrets. Uh-huh. Sure you will. <laughs> Love her snark. Shambara, relinqu Shambara relinquished the book with a dismissive toss. Take from the master, trapped in the underrealm. Release him. If this is dark magic, then a master would have to be a death knight. Then we stop right here because we will under no circumstance release a death knight. It's not literal, you know. You probably just have to find his tomb. Do I have to spell this all out for you? 
What? Wait, a real death knight? Those evil people that everyone keeps saying destroyed the world? I don't want to go anywhere near one of those. Well, we already did, kind of. Death knights are a thing of the past. At least, they used to be. Any knight we'd encounter would be long dead, except for the one that we found earlier. Zeal. Thank you, Mesfit. True, we almost forgot about him. I didn't. What are you... <laughs> All of you incompetent losers that Shambara are talking about. We almost... I, I haven't touched this game in over a month, and I still remember it. <laughs> In-game, it hasn't been that long. True, we almost forgot about him, and that is very dangerous. Faust and any like him are not trapped in the Underrealm. Indeed, that is their very problem. Any master we seek would not be wandering our plains. We seek the bones of the dead. Bones cobbled together from the old body, relying purely on magic. At their worst, they should be dead. Those don't sound fun either. We don't really have a choice. Lorne was worried about releasing any master of the Underrealm, but her people needed a cure. Servant. Take from the servant, wandering champion. Flesh stained with, flesh stained with the plains. Flesh stained with the plains. What color are the plains? Brown? No, dummy, they're green. Green flesh. I think we know what creature this is referring to and where it will be. Wandering the plains? Let's go. The friend. Take from the friend, loyal to the end, waiting for the master's return. That could be anything. Not necessarily. It says whatever it is, it'll, it'll, it's still waiting at the end. The end? Does that mean Everburn? Only demons live there. No, there are other creatures that call it home. Golems, drakes, firehounds? Trouble chimed in at the reference of his kind. Draco leaned down and scratched behind its many ears. What's that? You want to go see your family? We'll do no such thing. Aw, oh, why not? If we're going that way, it shouldn't be too hard to just stop by. I'm with Draco on this one. I don't think it'll be a problem, Majesty. We should investigate all non-demon allies of, Fro of Faust. Lauren grumbled. Okay. Um... The tomb. An embellished crypt in the cliffs of Mount Kronos caught their, e their eye. They knew if they were to find a master of dark magic, it would be among the burials of the fabled Death Knights. Souser helped them navigate the mountainside and the length of the crypt. He was particularly pleased to be returning to something he was comfortable with. Deep inside, they found three enclosed tombs. Looks like, th looks like three of those guys are housed here. We shouldn't mess with the others, because... You know, the apocalypse. So which tomb is the master? Shouldn't it just any old death knight do? We should select a tomb of the evildoer that most resembles whoever casted the dark magic. Makes sense, and that would be... Uh... Succubus, the goblin, the dark elf? We should select the Tomb of the Evildoer that most resembles whoever casted the dark magic. Was it the goblin who cast the dark magic? Or the dark elf? The dark elves used to be close to the demons. Their bones must be perfect to use. They may be pre permeated deep with dark magic, but the dark elves were slaves to the death knights. As you saw with Mesfit, he was not one of them. Truth, I, I would not consider any dark elf to be a death knight at all. Then who shall we take from? You spoke of illusions at play. From the accounts of the Citadel, you have witnessed a goblin with the control of that magic before. He's right. Open the tomb of the goblin knight. Open the tomb of the goblin knight. The remains of an all of an of an of an long withered goblin shaman was uncovered. Several members coughed from exposure to the disturbed dust. I suppose we take one of his bones? Saren reached into the tomb, not letting not letting on how scared he was of the ancient evil he was about to touch. Once Saren's hand was around a bone, he felt a tremor. He let go of the skeleton as if it burned him. Oh my. The corpse surged with a demonic glow and sat upright. Lauren pulled Saren to safety with one arm and got her sword ready with the other. Ooh, another lich? How many of these liches are we fighting? Souser. Um, your, this is your ingredients, honey, so you're doing this with us. Let's bring Draco with us this time. Sure. Lich. Let's... Oh, my. Ooh, gosh. Okay. Um, just in case, I'm going to throw up some wards. Because I'm not taking any chances. 
Alright. Lightning reflexes. Skeleton archer, of course. Mesfit. It's morphin' time! Um... Shattered. Weak against... Ooh, that's that's good. There we go. Nice. And they're all shattered. Nice. Walking dead. Alright. Ice? It's a good idea. Yeah, ice. Ice on it. Nice. Smack. Oh my. He's out. You're out of here. Oh my goodness. Take a bite out of a take a bite out of the zombie? Oh my goodness. That thing is ridiculously powerful. Oh ho ho. You guys use against. Um, yes, please. Bring him back. Nice. Souser. Oof. Oh my. Draco, we gotta, we gotta take these guys out. Beautifully well done. Um. Take out that archer. My goodness. Oh boy. All right. Gotta heal people. You shall let me to die. The truth conjures There we go. Nice. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Try this on for size. Nice. Alright, now we've got only one left. Oh my goodness. That was nearly Take him out. Nothing is cheap. There we go. How can the dead continue to rise? Because the, these dead are champions of death, and the Underrealm is but a vacation. Perhaps this knight was merely waiting for a reason to return. Or for us to open up his prison cell. They looked at the heavy stone slab they had pushed out of the way to uncover the tomb. I vote we put everything back exactly the way we found it. I second the motion. They re replaced all the precautions 
to, to keep the skeletons sealed away from the world and exited the tomb. So now they need the planes. Yeah, the bleeds. They searched the planes north of Grimoire but found no one of interest. No creature with skin tainted with the stained with the planes. Then we search elsewhere. How about these planes? They search for a wandering champion. Perhaps they are not... Mirth was interrupted by the sound of a stampede. A herd of deer moved quickly through the grass, escaping for their lives. Whoa! Behind the herd was a green creature riding on top of a wolf. A green wolf! The mount snapped at the deer hungrily with the encouragement of cack its cackling rider. Several unmounted goblins desperately tried to keep up. That's interesting. Can we kill it? That must be the wandering champion. He is, no, he is a goblin, so it fits. Then let's make this quick. Lawrence let out both of her swords and braced herself. She let out a war cry, attracting the attention of the goblins. The deer pounded away in relief as the goblins took the bait. The mounted goblin charged to, to right for Lauren, before noticing the other party members. When he did, he slowed down just enough for his minions to catch up. Lauren did not give them a chance to retreat. Goblin. Review. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Yes. Let's put a Palomesho in there. And let's stick. Let's get some get into some trouble. And let's put Amukiki in there. Yeah. Uh, the wizards. Flame on. These wizards I don't trust further than I can throw them. So I'm warning. That's your best? Oh my. Heels. Lightning reflexes. Palamesho, can you heal? Heals all odds by certain hit since for yeah. Regenerate everybody. We're gonna need some extra protection here. Lauren. I'm a Kiki's gonna throw up some defense. Survive this. Come on, trouble. Nice. 